First Samuel, Shemuel Aleph, chapter 13. Shaul was years old when he began his reign, and he had ruled Israel for two years, when he chose three thousand of Israel's men. Two thousand of them were with Shaul in Michmas and in the hills of Beatel, and a thousand were with Yehonatan in Givat Binyamin. The rest of the people he sent back to their respective tents. Yehonatan assassinated the governor of the Pilishtim in Giva. The Pilishtim heard of it, so Shaul had the shofar sounded throughout the land, saying, Let the Hebrews hear. All Israel heard that Shaul had assassinated the governor of the Pilishtim, and thus made Israel a stench in the nostrils of the Pilishtim. So the people rallied behind Shaul in Gilgal, while the, Phil- the, while the Pilishtim assembled themselves together to make war on Israel. Thirty thousand chariots, six thousand horsemen, and an army as large as the number of sand grains on the seashore. They came up and pitched camp at Michmas, east of Viet Avon. The men of Israel saw that their options were limited and that the people felt so hard-pressed that they were hiding themselves in caves, thickets, crevices, watchtowers, and cisterns, while some of the Hebrews crossed the yard into the territory of Gad and Gilad. But Shaul was still in Gilgal, where all the people were eager to follow him. He waited seven days, as Shemuel had instructed. But Shemuel didn't come to Gilgal, so the army began to drift away from him. Shaul said, Bring me the burnt offering and the peace offerings. And he offered the burnt offering. As soon as he had finished sacrificing the burnt offering, there was Shemuel. He had come, and Shaul went out to meet him and greet him. Shaul said, Shemuel said, What have you done? Shaul answered, I saw that the army was drifting away from me, that you hadn't come during the time appointed, and that the Pilishtim had assembled at Michmas. I said, Now the Pilishtim will fall on me at Gilgal, and I haven't asked the favor of Adonai. So I forced myself and offered the burnt offering. Shemuel said to Shaul, You did a foolish thing. You didn't observe the mitzvah of Adonai, which he gave you. If you had, Adonai would have set up your kingship over Israel forever. But as it is, your kingship will not be established. Adonai has sought for himself a man after his own heart, and Adonai has appointed him to be prince over his people, because you did not observe what Adonai ordered you to do. Then Shemuel left Gilgal and went up to Givat Binyamin. Shaul counted how many were still there with him, about six hundred men. Shaul, Yehonatan his son, and the men with him, took up quarters at Givat bin Yamin, while the Pilishtim remained in camp at Michmas. Then raiding parties began coming out from the camp of the Pilishtim, three of them. One group turned toward the road leading to Ophrah in the territory of Shaul, Shual. Another group took the road toward Beit Horan, and another company took the road toward the desert through the territory overlooking Vadi Zvoim. Now there was no metalsmith to be found in all the land of Israel, because the Pilishtim had said, We don't want the Hebrews making themselves swords or spears. So whenever any of the people of Israel wanted to sharpen his hoe, plowshare, axe, or pick, he had to go down to the Pilishtim, where the exorbitant prices were two-thirds of a shekel for filing a pick or plowshare, and one-third of a shekel for filing an axe or setting an ox goad in its handle. Thus, when the time came to fight, No one in the army of Shaul and Yehonatan was equipped with either sword or spear, although Shaul and Yehonatan his son did have them. A garrison of the Pilishtim had gone out to the pass of Michmas. End of 1 Samuel chapter 13.